welcome you all once again so all this while i spoke about my own car this is a car which belongs to one of my friend uh, his name is sharan so he had gone all out in uh, modifying this car from the current gen eco sport to the unlaunched facelift eco sport so we have done a lot of changes inside out and i would be taking you all through each and every part what we have changed and as well as the cost for every individual part so we will start off with the front now so here we see the alloys which have been changed to gunmetal grey which comes in the facelift eco sport which was yet to be launched you might have seen several videos or uh, uh, scoops on different automobile uh, media websites so this this is these are the wheels these are there in stock and i think we paid about 40000 for a set of five wheels so these wheels are compatible with the oe tpms as well so this car has been retrofitted with tpms too which means that we have fixed tpms with a non tpms variant and coming forward to the bumper so this is where the major change has taken place so you can see that the there is a boomerang shaped drl as well as a circular fog light housing so, so the fog light is halogen and the drl is led and it also doubles up as your parking light as well as the indicator earlier in the current gen eco sport you would see that the parking light and the fog lamp are more of in a uh, triangular shape whereas here the fog, that problem is taken care and it give it gives you room to go with aftermarket uh, fog lights so such as xenon planet or automotive lighting experts so such kind of fog lamps also can be placed in the current housing and yeah coming forward to the grill so the grill also is updated to the ford uh, family which has the new gen uh, grill such as you might have seen the uh, unlaunched ford uh, xcv700 equivalent suv that also had a similar grill as well as if you see the ford everest or the ranger the new gen that also has a similar kind of a grill and then as we move forward over here you can see that the headlights are retained as stock so the bumper has been reworked on and the towing hook also is different only thing is that the skid plate is uh, not a direct fit from the previous gen eco sport so it comes along with the bumper so it's not a separate bolt on one so in this you cannot install the thunder applique so that's about that but on uh, net net the entire bumper costed nearly around 25000 right from the paint to the grill as well as this drl boomerangs and the fog lights because the fog lights itself are about 2000 for a pair the drls are way more expensive which comes about uh, 6 to 7000 for a pair again and the bumper is 13 and the grill was about uh, a couple of thousands i believe so that much was the cost so the biggest challenge we had is to route this b- b- bumper drl wiring to the headlight because the indicators work only with the help of the headlight uh, connectors so we had to use a separate set of connectors which you do not get easily from ford so we had to source it from different suppliers and then get the connectors uh, installed with the present headlight socket so that the bumper works as a like the bumper drl works as a drl as well and the indicator so that's about the exterior part so interior is where the major changes have taken place like this came with a fly audio so we had gone all out in changing it to sync 3 as well as we have retrofitted cruise control EPMS and what not so let us go inside to see what are the changes we have done so going at the interior so this car came with a fly audio as well as a black uh, beige interiors previously so the owner has gone all out in changing all the door cards as well as the dashboard to complete black setup the seats are in progress to change to the ventilated ones and here you see the AC cluster is similar to that as mine so i will not elaborate more on this yes uh, he has done a custom panel for the AC cluster by using the stock AC panel itself so i am looking at a different route so i'm just waiting for my panel to arrive apart from that what you see is that uh, the mods are pretty much the same what i have done on my so this is a sync 3.4 version so we are converted from uh, sync 3 which is fly to sync 3 so these have uh, four key components which is the screen you have something called as the audio control module maybe i'll uh, share pictures of each and every component so it'll be easier then you have the bezel cover which comes along with an inbuilt speaker and at the bottom of the front seats near the glove box as well as the driver footwell you will be getting ambient lighting and the panel for this also changes because why audio comes with three screws sync comes with five screws over here to hold this in place and behind the speedometer you have something called as the apm module which is called the accessory protocol module which is uh, the key 
to make your Android Auto or Apple Car Keys work, without which the Sync 3 monitor is dead. As code is dead. So, and one more important part I missed is the wiring for Sync 3 because there are different wirings for Fly Audio and Sync 3. You might have seen certain people uh, charging uh, about 20-30k only for the wiring just to alter the existing wiring. I'm pretty sure you might have come across that. But here what we have done is we have changed the entire dashboard wiring so that everything is plug and play and your warranty is completely intact. So that uh, will not raise any suspicion or questions at Ford's end. So we have changed the BCM wiring totally uh, which costed us about 15k. And net net for the sink itself to work we spent nearly about uh, 65 to 70,000. The reason being the screen alone costed around 15 to 20k. It depends again on the supply and the demand with the suppliers. You can either get from India or overseas. India too, I have a couple of contacts from Chennai. Definitely not the guy whom you are thinking. I have other people as well. So they had got it for me. And then even the speaker cover and the speakers costed another thing 4k. This costed another thousand. The APIM costed about uh, 12 grand. And the wiring was another 15. And it goes on. So with, you can even use the existing camera too. For the reverse cam. So it does not cost much of a hassle. So yeah, we have we are, I'm yet to configure the uh, dynamic guidelines on this car. But apart from that, everything else is like as good as a OE 2017 or 18 uh, vintage titanium plus. And here we are given the cruise control because post 2019, Ford had uh, done a lot of cost cutting in the variants. So some variants did not even get pod lights. Pod lights also can be added externally. I think the pod lights cost about two and a half thousand for a pair. If you are going for the entire mirror assembly, I think it should be around uh, 11k. This is in just cost about uh, 5k each. And then the pod lights cost a bit extra. So that's about that. We have added crews as well as TPMS over here. And yeah, I have given even the compass also here on the bottom right corner, which is there on my car foot. So everything else is pretty much the same. So this is about the interior of this car. And yeah, so the owner has spent a lot of money on getting this upgrade so we took almost about 8 to 9 months to get all the parts and then to assemble it it took us another week or so because I work uh, for a company as well and I get time on the weekends so we had uh, worked only on the weekends of this particular vehicle so that's the story behind this car so if you want further info or details on these things maybe you can uh, uh, check my Insta handles. Uh, I think that's the best way to contact. I will share my car handle as well as my handle. And yeah, for each mod, we can give the price. I think this is about eight to nine thousand for the cruise cruise control itself. Will cost you around nine to ten thousand, given the switch and the wiring. Maybe with the steering, the steering alone will cost you nine to ten k. But you will get even the wiring as well. TPMS will cost you six and a half thousand only for the sensors. The configuration will be extra. And another FYI is I only do these mods for. A uh, known people that is for who come via reference from whom I know personally. I'm not going to entertain anybody and everybody because I've seen a lot of issues in the past. And uh, as I want to mention, this is not something which I do for business or a side income. It's more like a hobby or an interest or more like helping out fellow owners explore their cost potential. And I've, I've gone and helped out a lot of uh, fellow owners in the Echoes TVM as well as Echoes uh, Kerala groups and they have been very supportive. Even Echo Sport Club Bangalore has been very supportive with the mod and they respect the work what I do and I think that's very important which many people fail to understand and that is why I mentioned only via personal reference I would be taking anyone. Otherwise, you are free to contact for any doubts as such but if you want the mod installed, I would say it's on your own risk and it's on you. You are not supportive. I would say it's not right to blame someone or something when you know that this is something which we are doing outside of Ford. But the parts used are genuine Ford only. That's something which I would uh, admit. But coming to the mod part of it, I am pretty stringent this time around when it comes to helping people. That's about that. And yeah, a little bit history about Ford as well. And if you notice why Ford at was was because of mismanagement due to the lack of proper vehicle launches as well as I have certain inside information which I have received is that the US 2 and MD has not approved applications for Ford service centers in tier 2 and tier 3 cities during the years of 2019 and 20. So which itself was a clear indication that Ford was going to close and the same person who had interacted with all of us on all our meetups from Echoes PVM or Echoes Kerala and Echoes Club Bangalore 
same md that person himself was the sole reason why ford closed the company today because the 2 billion dollars yet is a big question mark and he immediately joined even tata motors 20 days after ford had announced his exit so that doesn't sound like a coincidence so it was all a well planned move i don't intend to create any controversy but yeah i really wish ford comes back to india and i'm ready to help ford motor company and ford us at any level possible to bring this back the i mean to bring this company back alive because we don't get such cars these days and these cars are built to last and very very reliable very value for money because at 12 lakh rupees no car can run up to 3 or 4 lakh kilometers uh, easily which a ford diesel does and the maintenance again it's just like fill it shut it forget it and i don't mind getting another eco sport too i might sound like a ford fan but that's what the fact is because when i had went to search for a car i had ever found a competent car which was a complete package of this under 30 lakhs so that's about the car's history and i think uh, we are good to close with this and uh, we are looking forward in the next video as well i have certain in interesting uh, things to show in the next video too. stay tuned